If you want to actually measure weight values and build a boat, then you can't just use a scale like this. This will just tell you if it's heavier or lighter. So today I will show you how to build a scale with actual values like this. I will show you how to build this scale. It's surprisingly pretty accurate. And I only realized this a few days ago that if you pick up this cannon from the mount, it becomes like 20 times lighter. Let's get right to building it. It only takes a few minutes. Place a plus sign out of wooden seats like this. Use 9 in scale to make this brick 11 studs tall. Place the first part of the spring directly under it and the other right on top. Change the stiffness to 9810 and damping to 1000. Now make a plastic platform on top of the spring. You can also make it this big because plastic has no weight at all. Add some blocks to the sides so it's easier to use it. You can color it if you want. You can delete the other seats at the bottom. Place a plastic block on the corner here and scale it up by 10. Now place a plastic block on the edge here. Use 0.97 in scale and scale it up and down to make it thin. I recommend you color red too. Now using 0.1 in scale tool, scale it on the edge. Now scale it outwards on the side like this. You can check if you did it correctly by making sure its position is the same as mine. Clone this part. Scale it inwards by 0.2 studs so it's away from the red piece. I suggest you make this white so it's easier to see later. Scale it up by 2 so it's exactly 10 long. Place a block in the center of the white part. Now use 0.97 again and make it this thin. Move it down by 1, then enter 2 and trowel and clone it up and down just like I did. Extend the white piece down by one. This is how the numbers fit on it. You can add the numbers here. The first line is 100 kilograms. You can also just place one hinge, for example, but you have to remember that one hinge means 100 kilo, two means 200 kilo, and so on. You can also add numbers for the rest of them. And also add KG letters, which is optional, of course. I strongly recommend doing this so you can read the values more accurately, clone one of the lines up by one, and make it slightly shorter and paint it slightly brighter. Clone this one up and down by 0.2 and make them shorter like this. Now just clone these small lines in between the other big ones. Now you will be able to weigh much more accurately. Each line is 10 kilograms. Now because one black part of the spring weighs 2.8 kilograms, we have to move this up by 0.06. Be very careful and make sure it only moves once. Extend the other plastic so it stays connected. Turn the collision off for the red one and you can make the other piece invisible and also smaller if you'd like. 
Now it's finished, just reload and unanchor almost everything. Select everything except one piece of the ruler. To use it, just place unanchored blocks on the gray platform. A prison door should go down to about 140 kilograms, so you can check if yours shows the same, and it should, or else it's wrong. Now you can weigh most of the items with surprisingly good accuracy. It's also better to use multiple of the same items to get higher accuracy. Also, here are the densities again in case you're wondering how heavy blocks are. This guy wanted to know how much candies weigh, so I placed all of my 101 candies on the scale. And as you can see, they weigh about 65 kilograms. So that means that each candy weighs about 0.644 kilograms, which sure is a lot of sugar. You can make many other ways of showing the mass, for example, like a gauge, but making this is stupidly complicated. So I will only make a tutorial if you guys really, really want it. Plus it also has a chance to skip teeth if it's going too fast, which also isn't good. Thanks for watching.